beacon is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out! All of you, let's move! Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. 
Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I do not mind. Take your time. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Are you sure you want me to describe it? I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere, and Darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. If you are willing to run into the midst of the Horde, perhaps. I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. I stand corrected. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. I can't do that. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? I... You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. 
Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. You have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Ha <laughs> ha, you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... 
Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. I feel better already. I may have answers. Ask. From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her.